in this civilization, in the current condition of this planet, it makes no difference where you go, makes no difference who you mess with. They have serious mental problems. They suffer from greed and arrogance, individualism, drunkenness, pedophilia. You live in a sick, sick world. And that's something we, we don't want to admit or confess. You thinking that you live in some type of natural life. But again, one should not feel bad. You should not feel depressed because you're single and lonely. You should not. There's nothing wrong with it. Because you came into this world alone. And you will leave alone. And those who you leave behind, they can cry. They can weep. They can look at your photo. But when it's all said and done, it's over. They cannot come with you. They can only dream about it. And that's the thing about religion. Religion gives us an opportunity so that we can imagine. Because we don't know about any afterlife. So religion helps comfort us when we lose the people that we socialize with. Because one day we know this social connection is going to come to an end. We know this. But we don't want to accept it. But we know. And whether you accept it or not, it's our reality. Been going on for hundreds of years. And it has never stopped or changed for nobody. And nobody has ever come from the other side to tell us how it was. So basically what I'm saying to us. If you can find somebody to love. Please do. If you can find somebody to share your life with. Please do. That, that is a good thing. I love to see people. Who have found somebody who is compatible. And they are sharing their life with. A friend to walk this journey called life with. However, that's an option. And we should not be so obsessed with this. And some of you, you have shared your life with somebody. And you caused life to be born. And you have children in this world. So really, your life is over. And you should be concentrating on what is in the best interest of your babies instead of trying to pleasure your loins. You all are, or you've already done that. You have these children that you have to take care of. And we have black people. These descendants of slaves born in America. You are so obsessed with pleasuring your flesh in your masa house. How can y'all lay down and y'all just sexing each other in your masa house. You live in a house that you don't make no laws. You did not create nothing. You just live in here. But you, you have to pay the rent. There are animals. When you take them to the zoo, they will stop having sex. Because they will not, and it's just instinctive. They're not going to do something to bring their babies into the zoo. So the zookeepers have to use artificial insemination and all this other stuff. To try to make these animals have babies. Here you are. You know the condition that we are in. And you just breeding and just happy in your mama's house in the zoo. And you 
single and you lonely. But many of y'all have babies. Your life as an adult begins with your children and your number one priority should be those babies. And those babies need a country. They need a nation. They need land. They need something for you to give them something. Provide for them. That's what adults do. Your life is no longer your life. Your life belongs to your children. Since I am single and have no children, you would think that's not my responsibility. However, I am incorrect. As an adult person, even though I don't have children, I am still responsible for all the children that are born in my species, in my race, so-called race. I still have a responsibility to help them live better and do better than how we are living. That's what adults do. And any adult animal in a family setting, whether they have babies or not, you will see those animals doing whatever they can to help nurture and raise those babies. They don't care anything about their life. So really, I am not lonely. Your child is my child. Your son is my son. Your daughter is my daughter. Your uncle is my uncle. We are family. However, I can avoid a lot of the drama trying to help raise the children but not really socialize because some of y'all are out of your mind. You shouldn't have no children Laying up in the house of the master. And if you're a strong man and understand that you have to, you may have to go to war and do certain things in order to free others of people. Why you want to lay around and have babies when you could be dying in the next few minutes? You want to have a family and you planning a future in the house of your slave master and their children who have no intent to give you free of uh, freedom, justice, and equality as long as they are in control. So either you conquer your enemy, you separate from your enemy, or y'all just admit y'all some modern day, comfortable, back scratching where you don't itch, stepping fetching slaves. Just admit you're a slave and, and just be done with it. If you if you tell me you're a slave, then what, what else can I say? I said, well, they, they admit. Some of you are in denial. If you're a slave, just say, hey, I just, I just accept things the way they are. If I'm a slave, so be it. It ain't no if you are a slave. Just call it as it is. I'm a slave. And I will defend my master. Just admit it. Because I want my master to look good upon me so I can continue for master to give me certain privileges. Just, just admit it. That's all we have to do. Instead of living in denial. I am not your slave. So I'm not going to act and behave like a slave. And so my attitude is strange for those who have decided to submit to slavery. A person who is comfortable in the jail, when people start talking about, I'm breaking out of here, I'm getting out. They look at the people who want to break out of the jail. Are you crazy? It's impossible. See, that's how you talk. You'll never be free. You'll never do this. We'll never do that. Even though it seems impossible. That don't mean I'm not going to stop trying. Because as soon as you stop trying. Then there is no possibility. But as long as you continue to try. The possibility is there. And those who enslave. Those who, who capture. They want you to just get comfortable. Because then 
that makes their job much easier, they don't have to watch you no more. They don't have to improve security. Well, you're going to always have to keep an eye on me. You're always going to have to try to improve security. Because this is one trapped animal that's going to try to get out of the cage instead of be comfortable. I don't like this cage. I'm not going to get comfortable in this cage. You can give me a million dollars. You can give me gold and silver. You can give me a record deal. You can give me all the things you think that I might want. But when it's all said and done, I'm scratching at the bars, banging at the bars, digging in the, in the soil, digging in the floor, trying to get out. Because I'm not your slave. I understand what slavery is. A slave exists only for the benefit of his or her master. And all these, the reason why the black community suffers is because whatever we are of benefit does not benefit us. It benefits other people. It benefits either Caucasian people, Arabs, the Chinese, Japanese, whoever is in the community. Whatever we are does not benefit us because we are slaves. Somebody is a parasite sucking our blood dry. Used by other people. We die. We die so others can live. We are surrounded by vampires. That have been sucking our blood for a long, long time. And you should stop thinking about, about, about panties. Stop thinking about drawers. And sucking on somebody. And set yourself free. And be a man and a real woman, a real man and a real woman, instead of some damn porn addict. I'm lonely. I'm single and alone. Ain't no men, ain't no women. And if these men and women are not trying to, as they say, break out of the matrix, if they're not seeking separation from an oppressive people. If they're not trying to do those things, then you need to continue to just suffer. And you want to be part of them, then you need to stay here and continue to whine and cry. When you can be caught, you when you and I can become part of something that we can be remembered for as long as people exist. These are the ones that finally broke the grip of Willie Lynch. These are the ones that finally broke the grip of slavery once and for all. You and I should be prideful in that. We've done the impossible. And it is in you, but you concentrate so much on yourself. And you're not thinking about what is in the best interest of our babies and future generations. And you have children. You would think somebody's single and lonely that don't have any children, that's the way they should think. They don't have no children. But here you are, one child, two children, three, four, and more. And you don't care nothing about their future for real. Only satisfying your penis or your vagina, and you lonely. You weren't lonely when you got those babies, and now you don't care nothing about their future. And you really, truly believe that this world is not sick. And you one of them. Because there's nothing wrong with being single and alone. You were single and alone when you came into this world. And you will be single and alone when you leave it. What's in between? Really, in the end, it really don't mean too much of nothing. Except sweet memories. Of somebody that walked the road with you for a certain period of time. It's better to be by yourself than in the company of a fool. With that said, jot down your comments. Let's talk about it. This is your brother Talik Ibn Ra. 
This was and is the Reality's Temple on Earth.